All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Friday edition of the Steve Malzberg Show from our New York City studios. Easy for me to say. Uh, we're joined right now, before we go to Senator Lindsey Graham, Larry Klayman, founder of uh, Freedom Watch, and uh, he is with us, former federal prosecutor. And uh, Larry, you are in the news today because the D.C. appeals court uh, lifted an injunction against uh, the NSA phone records uh, uh, data mining program. And uh, you uh, had originally won that case uh, in Clayman versus Obama. So talk about what happened today and how you feel. Steve, we're still going to win it. Uh, the appellate court comprised of three Republican establishment judges, the likes of which usually scratch the backs of Republican senators and others uh, who like this NSA program that sur surveys all Americans, sent it back to Judge Richard Leon to determine whether or not our use of cell phones, me and two other plaintiffs, the Charlie, Mary, and Strange, fell under Verizon's authority, the company. We now know that that's the case. That's been made public, is that the NSA program, which surveys everybody, which Edward Snowden revealed, does get telephonic metadata on cell phones. And we know from the case of U.S. v. Mills that one day of a constitutional violation, which is what Judge Leon found of the Fourth Amendment, unreasonable searches and seizures, gives rise to injury. So we're going to win the case. But the outrage here, Steve, is that the government has taken, excuse me, the court has taken two years to make a ruling on this since Judge Leon issued his original ruling. And a first-year law student with little to no experience could have written this in one day. And well, the reason they did this is because they're... That, that was my next question. Yeah, why, why they do... Why, that was my next question. Why two years? It's, it's irresponsible. It's unbelievable that they would take this amount of time to do this. Because to do it in that way allows these constitutional violations to continue. Look, they're elected Republican judges, and they are doing what the Republican establishment want, wants, like Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, like Senators John McCain, Lindsey Graham, uh, even the presidential candidates, Marco Rubio and Governor Chris Christie, think this is peachy keen. This is the way these people pay back those who gave them their jobs or seek higher appointment, because if they go against the establishment, they have no chance of being elevated to the Supreme Court or anywhere else. And that's why John, uh, Donald Trump is so popular these days, Steve, because the Republican establishment, whether it's judges, whether it's in the legislature, whether it's in the executive branch, if they win the presidency, doesn't represent the American people anymore. They represent themselves. They scratch each other's backs. And Trump is going up against that. And you've seen that in this instance. These judges have behaved in an outrageous, dishonest way because they didn't need to take nearly two years to so, issue so, this decision. So what's your next step, Larry? Where do you go from here and when? We're going to do th two things. We're going back to Judge Leon. We have a status conference next Wednesday. This judge is obviously very upset at the lower court level in Washington. I urge people to follow that to come you know, to the courtroom and watch. Uh, but we're also going to take it to the Supreme Court on the issue of standing. We're going to do both because this can't stand. This is tyranny. If our founding fathers, uh, under King George III, if the king had had access to an NSA. Right. They would have never made it to Philadelphia to sign the Declaration of Independence. Larry, they would have picked uh, up, arrested, and executed. We uh, can't uh, allow this tyranny to continue. Appreciate you coming on, Larry Clayman, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Larry. Uh, as always, uh, that's uh, Larry's perspective on that.